Joe Orton first came into my consciousness, like a lot of people in my generation, with the John Lahr book. And it was interesting when that came out, because that was the late 70s. And Joe kind of seemed to appeal to that generation, I think. There's something quite punk, actually, or post-punk about Joe. He sort of seems to anticipate um, all sorts of things. I think Entertaining Mr Sloan is his most successful play uh, in so many ways. What's interesting is he follows a tradition of... Um, sort of un uneducated um, English dramatists like Shakespeare reinventing classical themes and using classical themes. It's so clearly the Oedipus legend. And yet he, th he sort of throws out what he doesn't need and takes what, 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 what really works. And it's not, it's not Freudian in a, in a kind of deep and, and difficult way. It's very funny, um, which of course Freud is quite funny as well. It, it, it brings to life all our really deep concerns about about sex, really. And also he turns the, the angry man, young man on, on its head, really. Sloan starts off as an angry young man, and his, everybody's entertaining Mr Sloan, but by the end he becomes the entertainment himself. And I think that's a fantastic twist at the end. I think, for me personally, the, the, the thing that really struck me about his work is that he brings to life queer characters that aren't victims. In fact, they're very bad people. Then, and this whole, he takes away that, that need to be good, that need to be a positive role model, or any of those, those traps that sometimes radical theatre fell into in my, in, in my lifetime, that, they're, oh, the gay character has to be a good character. No, he doesn't. He has to be a human character. And I think that Orton, I, I certainly, like a lot of writers, like Brecht as well, uh, and, and certainly Orton, I've been inspired by uh, writers who and Shakespeare actually, that consider villains to be more important than heroes because it's through villains we understand ourselves and Orton comes up with some fantastic villains.